वेलकम टू माई व्यूज एंड न्यूज आई एम बैक विद अनदर वीडियो विद न्यू स्टोरीज फ्राम इथियोपियन एरटिया फर्स्टली इथियोपियन डास्परा फेस्टिवल्स आर फेसिंग रेजिस्टेंस मोर एंड मोर आर बींग कैंसल इट स्टार्टेड फ्रॉम स्वीडन एंड नाउ वी आर हियरिंग फ्रॉम जर्मनी नॉर्वे एंड लंडन एज वेल दैट अपकमिंग एरटी एंड डास्परा फेस्टिवल्स आर गोइंग टू बी कैंसल सेकेंडली वी हैव न्यू स्टोरी अबाउट इथियोपियन ऑर्थोडॉक्स पेट्रियॉक अबूने मातीस हु डिपार्टेड फॉर द यू एस लास्ट मंथ ही is in the us for medical checkup there have been rumors going around that he might not return to ethiopia because he was not on good terms with ethiopian pm abi but reportedly he is due to be back in ethiopia uh, an announcement was made today thirdly uh, we have been discussing that uh, there are splits in the amhara region of ethiopia among ruling elite among fano factions and today we saw display of this uh, split when an amhara pp party leader was not allowed to travel abroad he was stopped at bole airport uh, fourthly a new story about massive mobilization of people militias in western tigray we have some pictures for you from sagade and in wuldia some meetings have been held to mobilize the people and lastly thousands of pws hundreds rather have been seen passing through elamata towards makale we have a clip for you from which fronts were they taken prisoner we have details for you firstly viewers uh, erti and diaspora festivals are becoming difficult to be organized in europe it started from sweden when uh the venue was changed had to be changed then in the netherland after a court order erti and diaspora uh, erti government backed program was uh, uh, it could not be held then in germany a festival was held but it was attacked by erti opposition groups uh, and then on the 27th of uh, august in the netherlands festival was again postponed and we uh, were hearing that uh, the festival which was attacked in germany on the 20th of august will be reorganized on the 3rd of september but today erertian consulate in germany announced that uh, it won't be held on the 3rd of september in germany it has been cancelled uh, and in Oslo Norway as well on the 3rd of September uh, a festival is due to be held but it has been cancelled as well and in London on the 4th of September uh, an Eritrean government backed uh, diaspora festival was due to be held but it has also been cancelled Uh, a cat and mouse game is ongoing between pro erotian government and opposition diaspora groups uh, according to opposition diaspora groups in germany and norway uh, festivals could be held but venues are being kept secret meanwhile opposition groups are uh, patrolling streets they are trying to collect information about the likely venues this cat and mouse game is underway and it is becoming difficult for erti and embassies erti and consulates to organize festivals abroad in europe these festivals are a source of funding for erti and government a source of uh, sharing their political uh, narrative about the country about the region uh, i will say the travel to europe especially for these festivals from erti he could attend uh, only one festival so far and that was in sweden uh, all his other appearances have been cancelled because festivals were uh, cancelled so it seems that it is going to become difficult for erotian government now to organize festival to raise funds at these festival maybe some uh, secret meetings seminars will be held if uh, 
these events are publicized, opposition groups uh, become active and they try to stop these uh, festivals through legal channels and through public campaign, through public protest as well. Secondly, words, Ethiopian Orthodox Patriarch Abu Nematias uh, arrived in the US last month on a medical visit. He arrived in the US and uh, there were speculations that he could not, that he might not return to Ethiopia, keeping in view his strained relations with Ethiopian PM Abi. Uh, Abu Nematias is from Tigrayan ethnicity and he criticized Tigray conflict. He criticized Ethiopian military offensive on Tigray uh, and Tigrayans believe that Abu Nematias was not allowed to speak freely when he was in Ethiopia. Uh, and that is why it was being said that he might not return to Ethiopia from the US but reportedly Abune Matias is due to leave uh, the US for Ethiopia in coming days. Reportedly in the second week of September, he will arrive in Ethiopia. So all rumors are false that church is going to be split, that uh, Abune Matias is not going to return. No, he is going to return to Ethiopia in the second week of September. Thirdly, viewers, uh, we have been speaking about splits in the Amhara region among political elite, among foreign factions, uh, and among security apparatus of the region. Uh, we saw a display of this split today when Johannes Bujalio was not allowed to travel abroad. He wanted to travel to Dubai. He arrived at Bol Airport of Addis Ababa, but he was not allowed to board a plane. He was arrested and he was then taken by force to his house. He is now in detention uh, at his uh, house. Uh, I think he's in Addis Ababa, uh, but he was not allowed to travel abroad. Yonis Bialio is very critical of Ethiopian PM Abi, of Damake Mekon, of Amhara PP party leaders. That is why he uh, was removed from some government positions. He could not be elected as parties, PP party's uh, executive committee member. His personal security was withdrawn and now he is barred from visiting uh, uh, other countries, he is barred from leaving Ethiopia. So that is what we have been saying that there is lack of unity in the Amhara region. Tigray forces are advancing in Volo, but there are some groups uh, in Amhara political elite. One group is supported by Ethiopian PM Abi. Other group members are under crackdown like. Uh, Gado Nargacho, like Johannes Buyalio and some other politicians. Uh, fourthly, there is a massive mobilization of youth and militia is underway in western Tigray. We know that uh, fighting is now ongoing. Tigray force are trying to take control of Volkayet and from Sudan uh, they have attacked uh, uh, Ethiopia and from Tigray as well from Salamati side they are attacking Volkayet. That is why massive mobilization is underway. People are being mobilized and being sent towards front lines. We have some pictures for you. The pictures are from Dansha town. Dansha is in Sagade. And you can see hundreds of militia members heading to front lines. Meanwhile, Buldia still under government control. Meetings are being held between security forces and locals. Security forces are briefing the people that they should not panic, that there is nothing happening in the city. City is being defended. People should not leave. You can see uh, some pictures on screen. The pictures show today's meeting between security forces and locals in Buldia city. Lastly, a clip for you from Elamata. Hundreds of uh, ENDF soldiers were seen uh, who are prisoners of war and they were seen heading towards Makele as POWs. They were arrested uh, on Kobo front, on Vuldia front. Uh, 
today uh, today as a where they claimed that 5000 is open government soldiers were taken prisoner on kobo front and now they are being sent to makale tigray forces are not uh, arresting amhara soldiers amhara regional force soldiers amhara special force soldier fan of fighters as well they are not being kept in detention if they are captured by tigray for they're being released today uh, where they confirmed that only endf uh, officers and soldiers are being taken prisoner and he said that uh, tigray does not want to fight the people of amhara region and amhara forces as well uh, that is why amhara soldiers are being released they're not being uh, kept in detention what this video from alamata showing uh, dozens of endf soldiers being taken to makale tigray's capital where there are already around 10000 endf prisoners of war thank you watch gobi yo gaye tederegu murkanyoch nacho nezi